How's it going? This is David Potts with Song Notes. I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how to play Wagon Wheel. This is the old Crow Medicine Show song. Uh, it was uh, inspired by a Bob Dylan partial sketch of a song that they completed. This will work for the Darius Rucker version as well. Um, but uh, it's a great song and uh, it's very nice that it's basically one progression for the verse and the chorus. So that's all you need to worry about. Nice and simple set of chords as well. So uh, everything I'm about to show you is outlined in detail for free on Song Notes, which is my website where I freely share all my personal tabs that I create. They're complete and accurate and all that sort of thing. Um, quick note, capo on two. You don't need this unless you want to play along with the album version. You can take it off or put it wherever you want otherwise. So I'm going to keep it on two just to be in that key because I like that key for singing this song. But Let's get to the chords. Basically, you're going to need the G chord. That's 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open, 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 3rd fret. A D chord, which is the 4th string bass. It starts on the 4th string, the D string, and you're going to go 2nd, 3rd, 2nd. Uh, e minor. That's basically all open except for the 5th and the 4th string or 2nd fret. And then a C starts on the 5th string, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, open, 1st, open. But basically those are the four chords. Um, you're going to do, um, you're going to go like this, so G, 2, 3, 4, D, 2, 3, 4, E minor, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, and repeat all that again, G, D, but this time just stay on C. So you're not doing E minor the second time. So you're not doing E minor and you're doing C twice as long. But basically you're always doing G and D first. So again it's G, or G, G, D, D, E minor, E minor, C, C, G, G, D, D, and then the C and stay on C. So um, that's basically it. Now, the strumming pattern you want to get to is usually the down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. So if I was playing a G chord, that would be down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. And I'll go through the progression like that. So down. What I want to point out, and this is probably the most important part of any strumming pattern you'll play in any song, is you want to keep your strumming hand moving at an organically steady rate, right? If it is causing you a great amount of stress and anxiety getting the down, down, up, down, up, if you're having to go... Then I wouldn't do it. You know why? Because you're that feels, that sounds so offbeat. It's just, it's, you're better off practicing something that you can maintain a steady organic strum with. Even if that's starting out just downstrokes every, you know, every beat or every other beat. Take it slow, it's okay. Because if you can do this and maintain the beat, no matter how fast or slow you're going, you're gonna do more justice to yourself. So heading down south to the land of the pines, I'm feeling my way in the North Carolina, picking out a deed out of hope out my baby tonight. And then you do this, and you can organically speed, you know, not speed it up, but add more strums. And you're, what you're gonna happen is you're gonna notice your strumming hand is maintaining that organic up, you know, up, down motion, and then naturally, you can start including the up strums. See what I mean?
So, um, yeah, that's that's an important thing I want to add about about strum pattern. But uh, but I don't think there's anything else to add really. Um, again, it's it's a great song. I think that with strum pattern, if on that on that first down down, on the first down of the down down, um, it's a good thing to eventually emphasize the bass note. So. You get when you're ready for it. You'll know when you're ready. If, it, if that seems impossible, then don't even worry about it, right? Basically, um, I'm just going to play this off. I'm going to kind of make up the words a little bit here. But basically, so. Heading down south to the land of the was on my way to North Carolina. And I've been hoping for the valley and to see my baby tonight. Well, I made it down the coast in 17 hours. And the chorus. Rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, That's all there is to it. So I hope this was a helpful lesson. Again, check out my website, Song Notes, for my complete tab and lyrics and all that stuff for this song and many others. Um, it's all free, and um, I just want to help people learn. So hope this was helpful. Any questions or comments, let me know. And um, otherwise, have a good night. Take care.